Are you a foreign national upon visiting or returning to your home nation facing challenges when trying to rekindle your relationships with friends and family? We're going to help you get through the tensions you face when returning home after a long stay abroad. People choose to travel and live overseas for many different reasons. In the beginning, some people may have gone overseas to further their education, search for financial opportunities, seek romance, or simply search for adventure. And the desire to travel overseas can come from a variety of different sources. The desire to travel abroad may come from someone we admire, a book we may have read, or even a movie we may have seen. For some, the search for something missing in their lives may be the only reason they look to travel abroad. So as you can see, the reasons are countless and sometimes can be left to the imagination. Today, I would like to talk to you about the times when a foreign national returns to his or her home nation for short visits, for a vacation or for attending a family event, like a wedding or even a funeral. Now, I'm not talking about repatriation, which is when a person returns more or less permanently to the nation of his or her citizenship. Returning home for most foreign nationals is usually for reconnecting with parts of their past. However, returning home for a lot of foreign nationals is often met with dis disattachments from friends, family members, and locations that were once familiar. In this case, especially for those who are returning to their home nation after a long absence, it may be necessary for them to reset their relationships with their relatives and friends whom they haven't seen or communicated with for a while. Now, the reasons for this are many and often hard to categorize. Long abstances, distances, and even changing social economic conditions at home and abroad can be contributing factors to the disconnections that uh, occur between a foreign national and his or her family and acquaintances in their passport nation. So in order to continue their relationships, all parties involved may have to go through some type of readjustment or rekindling period. And unfortunately, in some extreme cases, some relationships may simply, just simply be beyond salvaging. Now, some foreign nationals who have returned home after a long stay abroad may find themselves unfamiliar or out of touch with friends and family members and even the surroundings that were once a topic of many past conversations and experiences. For some, they just may need time to just reacquaint themselves with those who were once considered an important bridge to their past and past events and celebrations. Many returning foreign nationals may unfortunately withdraw and begin to feel that they have developed a split personality. One personality for, for when they are in their overseas environment and another for when they return to their nation of origin. Now, upon their return to their home nation, foreign nationals who are trying to reconnect with their home nation may not totally understand some cultural references made by friends and family members in their home nation. For example, references to the latest television shows, video games, songs, hangouts, clubs, social events, or dances may draw a blank in the mind of a foreign national returning or visiting his or her home nation. Now, when foreign nationals return to their home nation for a short stay, they may need to remind themselves that as their lives have been continuing outside of their home nation, so have the lives of the many people they know back home as well. Now, it is quite normal for foreign nationals who are returning home after a long stay abroad to be excited about wanting to share their overseas experiences with friends and family members back home. However, the excitement to share experiences may frankly cause some unpleasant side effects. The topics a returning foreign national may bring up about his or her experience overseas 
may not be totally understood or even accepted by friends and family in their home nation, much of which, frankly, could become overwhelming and confusing to some family members and friends. Some views and opinions of foreign national may have developed while living abroad may even go against traditional beliefs held by people in his or her home nation, and unfortunately, if not handled calmly and objectively, discussions can become quite confrontational. Now, responses in certain situations may become confusing to not only the returning foreign national, but also to friends and family members who are trying to become reacclimated with the visiting or returning foreign national, who in some cases now will be seen as, a, as an outsider. So in the end, returning and visiting foreign nationals may find it hard to admit to themselves that relationships back home may never be the same. This is just one reason why a visiting foreign national shouldn't assume that people back in his or her home nation would be able to understand or even relate to the overseas experiences. Now, a foreign national who has an obsession with sharing their overseas experiences may be seen as being you know, arrogant, cocky, or in some cases, condescending. However, on the other hand, there may be a few people who knew the visiting foreign national before he or she decided to move abroad and now see this person visiting from afar as a source of information and in some cases inspiration. Now, they may place him or her on a social pedestal and to some, living abroad sounds like a romantic endeavor and simply out of reach. A visiting foreign national may suddenly become the point to person for insights about exotic overseas experiences and locations, which, at least in the lifestyles of the foreign nationals I know and engage with, is simply not the case. Now, being able to live abroad outside of one's home nation does take a certain type of personality and, in some cases, perseverance. And the truth is, the overseas lifestyle isn't for everyone. Living overseas in a different culture does force a person to become flexible and develop a different mindset. However, living abroad or living outside of a familiar environment is probably the best way to familiarize yourself with yourself. Now, my question for you today is, if you are a foreign national who has spent an extended amount of time abroad, how do you or how did you reacquaint yourself with people in your home nation who haven't seen you for a long time or who may have never traveled abroad? What steps did you take to get acquainted or reacquainted with friends back home without sounding or being labeled an outsider? What tips can you share with fellow foreign nationals who find themselves in similar situations when trying to rekindle their relationships with friends and family back home in their home nation? Your experience could be quite valuable to those facing such challenges. Now, please leave a comment below if you have anything you would like to say or share concerning this topic. And if you found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. For Four Seas One Family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to take care wherever you are.